Hello everybody, this is David with another Verilog video on the FPGA. Um, this time I'm going to take the VGA controller that I made and, and just made a video for yesterday and I'm going to take that same exact controller and draw some stuff on the screen. So I'm going to do the no signal screen which I'll show you here in a second. So I'm going to explain what's going on, go through the Verilog code and then we'll put the bitstream on an FPGA and then actually I'll show you the screen. So this is the no signal screen I'm talking about, like on old school televisions. I don't know if you still get this going on. My TV doesn't, but if you had no signal, you'd get a screen like this and then maybe some words that say no signal. But I'm just going to do this color screen. And so this is how it all breaks down. So we have the whole screen, the display area, which is horizontally 640 pixels and vertically 480 pixels. Uh, for each of these seven sections going across, um, I'll take 640 pixels and divide it by seven, and you get three left over. It's 91 with three left over, so I'll make six sections that are 91 pixels wide and one section that's 94 to make up the rest. So up here across the top is the values of, so in order to create these sections, we need to create boundaries with our X and Y values that come from the VGA controller. So this is 91 pixels, so pixel 0 to pixel 90, then 91 to 181, 182 to 272, and it just keeps going all the way across. Now to section off the top part from the bottom part, this little section down here from the last picture, well this is the last picture, this is about one seventh of the entire screen. So dividing 480 by 480 pixels vertically by seven um this is not a round number it's 68 and change so i just made it 68 so it's about one seventh of the entire picture and so now i'll take you over to the very log code and we'll show i'll show you how we do all this all right here's the code we're in vivado you can see the module hierarchy over here we have a top module we have that same vga controller and then this time we'll do a pixel generation circuit. So here's the VGA controller. It's the same exact one I just did a video on. I'll just scroll down through it. I just copied and pasted everything in here. Now the pixel generation circuit. This is something we didn't have before when we tested it. We just used some switches to test. So I'm going to go through how we're going to color the screen like that diagram we just saw or the picture. So the pixel generation circuit gets the video on signal from the VGA controller to let this circuit know that we're in we're within the display area. We get the values of X and Y, which are the horizontal and vertical counters, respectively. And then we have a register to drive the 12 bits of the RGB from the Arctic 7 uh, through the digital analog converters. Um, you know, that'll come out in the top right here. But let me go through the pixel generation here. I create some parameters for RGB color values. I'm using hex, but I'm just making it simple. If it, you know, for whatever color, we're going to have all four of those switches or outputs for each color on. And then each, a combination of all those, all on is white, all off is black. And then a little bit of each. So this is a value of 10. So it's one zero one zero all the way down through all the 12 switches for the colors, we're gonna get it gray. Now, I create some wires here that are symbolic of the sections. We have, if you remember the diagram, we start from left going to right, we have an upper white section, then yellow, aqua, green, violet, red, blue, and then in the lower part here are the colors going through those seven lower parts. Now you do all we're doing right here is assigning these status signals to be on whenever we're within the boundaries of our X and Y for those colors. So you see over here, all the Y values are the same because this is the top section. So we want zero bit zero to bit 411, and then the bottom section will be bit 412 to bit 48 to 479, which is less than 480 here. So each signal has an X boundaries and the X boundary is the same for each one. We just change the Y values 
Um, but then we have these signals that tell us when we're within those colored areas in the upper part and the lower part. And now we take all those signals down here and use them in this always block to assign the value of the RGB register going out. So if we don't have a video on signal, it means we're not in the display area. We're just going to turn it black. Now, these are all the status signal names. So right upper white. We're going to just turn the RGB to the color we want based on the parameters that we set up top. And you can see for each section, upper green is violet, red, blue. You know, we're just going through each section. And that's pretty much it. Well, that is it. Now to the top, we have the clock 100 megahertz coming in. We need that for the VGA controller to, and we're going to use it in here as well, but to create that 25 megahertz signal for the pixel tick, we're going to use a button for the reset. Although you never really need to touch it. Uh, the H-Sync and the V-Sync, which go to the VGA connectors, and then the 12 bits that are the RGB value that is driven from the pixel generation circuit through the DAC, um, convert into three RGB bits, to, uh, bits for the VGA connector. I just create some wires here to connect the modules, uh, the VGA controller and the pixel generation. Um, I create an RGB reg and RGB next wire. So the RGB that's being driven out of the pixel generation right here is a register. And in the top module, we're gonna have RGB next wires capture that. And then to buffer it, so when we get this signals here at the clock 100 megahertz, if, we're, if we do have a pixel tick, then we're gonna take the wires that are our RGB next and then set them into the register um, the RGB register, and then that RGB register value is what's being outputted from the Arctic 7 to the DAC. Here's the constraints file. We need the 100 megahertz clock button. I'm using button C for the reset. You can use any button you want. Change the name to reset here. And then make sure you change the name on all the VGA connectors to our RGB. Uh, 12 bits here. Here's our H sync and V sync. Now I'm going to go ahead and I already ran the synthesis and all that. I'm going to program the board and I'm going to show you it on the screen. Okay, uh, here you see the screen. It looks just like the graphic. Uh, we got what we were looking for. We wanted that no signal screen. Just to your view, it's flipped because my camera is flipped around. So the white border is actually on the left as I'm looking at it. But here you can see how you can section different parts of the screen. Just using the boundary values of X and Y, and then setting the RGB color values for the um, for the signals when they're within those boundaries. So there you have it, uh, VGA project. Good luck.